Hello, I'm Pete Thornton, the UK brand ambassador at Black Tears Spice Cube and Rum. Thank you very much for taking time to click on this video, which is episode 32 of our Cocktail Collective Live series, which has been going out now every single Friday at 6 p.m. live on the official brand pages at Black Tears Cube and Spice, both on Facebook and Instagram. Have a look back. There's another 31 uh, and potentially even more in front of this one depending on when, uh, when you're viewing it. So, episode 32, there are two Black Tears drinks. This is drink number one. This is the Cozy Club cocktail, inspired by, well, an absolute stunner of a, of a drink called Clover Club. And this is a Cuban autumn wintery sort of take on that. So it's quite, yeah, it's, it's loosely based on it, but yeah. So we're gonna need, of course, our Black Tears Spice Cuban Rum. We've got some sherry, which is actually left over from episode 31 which was all about the cobbler. Uh, we've got some spiced pumpkin puree, awesome for these sort of evenings and for these sort of drinks, really indulgent and velvety, but full of flavor. Egg white, lemon juice, that's it. Super simple. My service glass is already chilling down, ice and water. Important that we put water in there as well so that the whole area of the glass is super cold by the time we come to using it. I've got some ice already in my shaker as well. So let's get going. We're gonna start off with, well, a pretty standard measure. Um, but yeah, 50 milliliters of Black Tears Spice Cuban Rum. And what we try to do with the Cocktail Collective series is keep it really simple so that all the, measure all the measurements, all the recipes are easy to remember and replicate at home. So we've got 50 milliliters of that. Everything else, 20 milliliters, all right? So let's make a start. We've got 20 milliliters of sherry. This adds a really nice dryness, but again, that really nice sort of fortified, that, that all sort of whiny, beautiful flavour notes to it as well. So yeah, it works super, super, super good. We've got 20 milliliters of our spiced pumpkin syrup puree. If you're a fan of spiced pumpkin lattes and things like that from certain coffee houses, a bottle of that you can make your own at home. Honestly, it's so good. Um, right, so 20 milliliters of our freshly squeezed lemon juice. Go in there. Cool, this is quite a decent size and rather juicy lemon, so it's just under half a lemon. Uh, but yeah, have a little play. We've got um, 20 milliliters of egg white. Have to be careful with this, because it can come out a little bit quick, which that one has. That's a little bit over, but it's all right. I'm sure I'll be having another one, so I'll keep that. Uh, and obviously as well, keep the yolks. You can keep those and cook with them and use them in all kinds of things as well. So don't waste them. Everything is in our shaker that we need. So we're gonna give it a seal and we're gonna shake hard and fast for about 20 seconds. The egg white, if we do it well, we shake hard and fast, it's gonna end up really nice and velvety and we'll get a beautiful froth on the top of our drink. Are we ready then? Three, two, one, shake. As ever, put some effort in. Remember to breathe as well, that's really important. I think we're just over halfway now, and we're going to go four, three, two, come on, last it. One, that'll do us. There we go. Look at that real nice frosting, really nice chill on our shakers, so we know we've done a good job there. We've got the nice frothiness on the top as well. We're just going to get rid of this. Don't want that in there anymore. And what we're going to do to make it look a little bit fancy is we're just going to put a little smidge, probably about 10 mil, of puree into the bottom of our glass. And with anything at all that you've got lying around, uh, I'm just going to use a knife and just pull the puree up and around the glass just to make some patterns. You can do it in whatever shapes and designs that you, you like. And because the glass has been chilled, it helps the puree stick to it. And what will happen when we now fine strain, so double strain our drink into our service glass. Beautiful color, really autumnal, even the color of it as well. Beautiful sort of golden brownie colour. That's a perfect for this time of year. There we 
go. We don't want to get, make sure we get all of it out of our shaker. We don't want to leave any in there. Let's just give that a bit of a swirl. Yeah, there we go. We double strain so we don't get any shards of ice. However, you can absolutely just pour this over ice. You can just pour it out and have it as it is. Um, it's up to you. You don't have to be all fine strained and all the rest of it. And then just to finish the drink off, we're just going to give it a dusting of nutmeg. Super seasonal, really tasty and really easy as well. That is the Cozy Club cocktail. Thanks to Black Tears Spiced Cuban Rum. Till next time, see you soon.